Dojo. Coogie Saki. <laughs> Fushi Girls getting hit on. Formation B. Fushi Girl, who is this woman, Fushi Girl? Thank you so much. <laughs> They were really hyping up this love seat in the back. They were like, you guys have to wrestle on stage for it, right? So. AJ, can you scoot over yeah, right a little to bit to your left? I, I mean, okay, yeah, sure. We, we need to leave room for... You need space? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. just yeah. in case Robbie shows up, you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome, welcome. Welcome to Richmond. How's everybody feeling? Great. Not bad, not bad. Awesome. Well, it's, uh, it's awesome to have you all here to not only talk about your various voice work, but of course to specifically speak about Jujutsu Kaisen. But before we get into that, um, I just want to say what's up. It's always great to meet amazing voice actors, get to get a little insight onto your tips and tricks and how you've navigated through this world of voice acting. I know, you know, me and you, KG, we've got to speak before on your yes, voice acting and video games, and I've been speaking with you for a very long time. <laughs> but um, Adam, this is the first time that we've actually got a chance to meet. So, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, man. <laughs> Absolutely. So, ha is this your first time here in Richmond? This is my first time here in Richmond. Sorry. And if, uh, just so you know, I'm losing my voice. Wow, it's wow. Been, it's, so sad. It's, so, it's, it's been a very hype weekend so far. I'm struggling through this a little bit, no, I apologize. it's ASMR hour for oh, Adam yeah. MacArthur. Hi. Back Welcome. in 1998, I <laughs> booked my first voiceover job, which was a voiceover commercials for, uh, a voiceover job for Macy's. A radio commercial. Really? Yeah. That's cool. And that's where it all started for you. That's where. And then now I'm doing anime. <laughs> From very Macy's clear, to anime. Yeah. Clear this line. next season of Yuji. This is the preview of The Voice. <laughs> right here. Very smooth. Very nice. Sukuna, no. <laughs> Megami, a rabbit again. Does this guy have any other animals? <laughs> this is going to be fun. I can already tell. Um, the show itself, Jujutsu Kaisen, is a very fun show to watch. It, um, it's really exciting to Wait, wait, see. wait, wait. Did you just say it's fun? <laughs> I think so. I mean, but that's the season type of fun that I'm into. Fun? I think it's fun. Who, who thought season two was fun? Oh, look, and there's a 15-year-old crying on the floor. I'm having fun. Fun! You know what? The Yay! human, the human earthworm was fun. I will say. Human okay, earthworm the human was at the very fun. start. It's a love the human, story. It's a love story. I want to watch some wormo man. Yeah. <laughs> No, what I consider fun is great art, Drama. great animation, great voice acting, crying. great story, crying kids, you yeah. know what I mean? Gore, violence, blood. I love all that stuff. And of course, you know, eating cursed fingers. What is that all about? Yeah. I don't, but it's, it makes it fun. It's really cool. Yeah. Um, and how do you feel about the franchise itself? I mean, you guys get to voice, obviously, some of the main characters in the show. Um, as far as you, I mean, you're the lead dude. That has to feel amazing. We're, yeah, we're, listen, we're all so lucky. Absolutely. We are all so, so lucky to get to do what we do. Um, I always say that JJK is like the perfect show. Um, it came out at a time where we were all sitting on our couches because we could not go outside and we, we were looking for something to watch. And it, it just like, it was a good show at the right time. Uh, for us as actors, it's a really fun to act these characters. And then also the fan response has been insane. Like you guys, like look, this room is packed. Glad out. you That's like insane. it. You guys are crazy. <laughs> you here. It's awesome. So yeah, so we're we're really really lucky. The show is the show is awesome. I don't think any of us we knew JJK had hype because we knew that the manga was really popular in Japan and all that stuff, but when we we always talk about this, we didn't realize that it was going to be like this. Yeah. Cuz also we we're seasoned. We've been doing it a long time, so we don't put all our eggs in one basket or think that it's going to happen because we've been on, we've also been on hundreds of other things right. that no one has heard of that are also really dumb. Yeah. <laughs> The mantra is you do the thing, you move on, right? Like you do the thing, you yeah. move on. Yeah, Yeah, you can't take it with you because otherwise it'll just eat away at your soul. Yeah. <laughs> it really will. I mean, if you think about all the 99 auditions you didn't get and then the one that you did get, it really gets to you. as uh, It'll mess you up. Yeah, Absolutely. that'll really yeah, yeah. mess you up. Yeah. Now, what was the audition process like for you? I know you're all seasoned you know, veterans in the space of voice acting. Was it something that you actually had to audition for or did someone say, oh, you know what? I know who'd be perfect for this. KG? Yeah, yeah. So um, I, uh, my wife actually gets anxiety every time I tell the story. But like when I first came across the Gojo audition, I almost didn't read for it because I, uh, it was a week where I was doing like two fighting games back to back. It was like a fighting game. It was like a war game, and I was tired, bro. Like I had gone through like four other reads. I got to Gojo. I didn't know anything about Jujutsu Kaisen at the time, so I didn't know who he was. Right. So I was like, oh, man, here's this guy. I... <sighs> This guy. I, this guy. He's got a blindfold on him. He's a reverse Kakashi. I don't know. Like, he's just like, 
So, so you know, I was like, I hadn't seen his blue eyes yet. No, no, that's true. That's true. You know? it, that would have been an automatic sell. But like, no, I, I, I really, I sat there and I thought about it for like ten minutes. Where I was like, okay, fine, I'll do something. And then, yeah, that. And, Thankfully, I ended up booking. Hey. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> hey, you hey. definitely brought the character to life. Appreciate it, man. And Anne, how did you feel about your process getting into this show? Yeah, so, like, audition came in through my email, and at that point, the first three episodes of the sub were out on Crunchyroll, so I was like, okay, I'll do my due diligence. I don't have time to read this manga, but I'll look up a wiki, I'll watch the first three episodes, and then, like, the third episode is her introduction, and I was like, oh, crap, she's so fun. I like this girl. I want this character so bad all of a sudden, which is bad, because you shouldn't really want it that hard. Um, and then I forgot to do the audition until the day it was due. <laughs> Procrastination. <laughs> We're the most professional actors. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, to be fair, though, like, I had done the homework, right? So, like, it had all, like, percolated through my body and my brain for the, like, the, like two or three days that I left it sitting there. So then I was ready when it was time to do it really fast. <laughs> Wait, did you say she was fun? Yeah, she I thought this wasn't a fun show. She's fun. No, the show no, was season not. one was fun. Season one, season one was fun. Season fun one was a great, great time. Show. Yeah. Yeah, see, you, yeah, we didn't, time we didn't know what we didn't know. Well, you at can't that point. know what you don't you know. What I'm saying? Yeah, until, until you know. And you know what? I know it's time because I, I definitely want to get as many fan questions. I can sit up here and shoot the breeze with you guys all day long. Yeah. But we have a mic right here. Let's get as many questions as we can. And again, if we can rapid fire, lightning round all the questions, we'll get as many as we can. So we have a microphone over here. Go ahead and step on up to the mic. Don't be shy. Go, 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 go. Here oh, we go. And uh, fight, yeah, fight. do your very Anonymous, best. My beloved, fight. There you go. All right. I would like to, I would like to uh, affectionately title this Q&A session, JJK Season 2 Therapy. Oh, yeah. We got the right couches mm. for it. We got Trauma the yeah. There you go. Tell me, tell me, how did season two make, make you, you feel? feel. Yeah. Mm. All right. Hi. What's your name and what's your question? Hi. My name is Elizabeth. Um, I'm gonna say I'm a fan of mainly y'all two characters. Go, Joe. Hey, mainly don't. Hey, mainly. give some. Give Nobara some love right now. It's okay. It's okay. You love Gojo. That's girl. Hey, Fine. Nice. Well, mainly Gojo because I, no I love Gojo. Yeah. Give yeah, Itadori um, some love, please. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> what is you guys' favorite moment of? Like Juju Kaisen. Hmm. Our favorite moment is it the is it the oh, oh formation, formation B? B? It's formation, formation B. B. It's hundred percent formation B. Yeah, yeah. It's so stupid. It's I would so yell funny. it. I, just, I would yell perfect. it right now, but I can't. Don't do it. Gojo, Kugi Saki, <laughs> Fushi Guro's getting hit on. Formation B. Fushi Guro, who is this woman? Fushi Guro. Thank you so much. All right. I'm going to go back and redub that scene just like that. <laughs> Very chill. Anne? Let's do it. Hi, what's your name? What's your question? Um, we, got, we got, sorry. We got Boba. We, we got panel Boba. What? what? Boba delivery. I, I, don't know, I don't know how you got left. I didn't know DoorDash right. delivered I got, here. I got water. It's all right. I'm trying to be healthy. Right. Right. What's, what's floating in my The perks. Hi. Hi. My name is KB, and my question was, what was your favorite um, moment, like, other than what you just said? Like, when you first started mixing your voices together? Like, when you first started? Like, aside from Formation B. Yeah. I just, uh, uh, well, I think maybe the question is like, uh, well, look, we don't record this show together, so we're all uh, individual. I wish. So the first time we kind of all, KG and I had met once previous to JJK. Anne and I had never met. I've never you, met any of these fools. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Anne didn't know any of us fools. And... <laughs> Uh, so we met in an interview before we had even heard anything together. So I think once episode one dropped, we all probably watched it. And that was like a really cool, like, okay, this is what the show is going to, you know. And I, I also to that point, like it is, it, um, any season, any first episode of any series, it, once they get like a few seasons in, if you go back and watch um, the first episode, first couple episodes, it always sounds slightly different because you can hear the, the actors sort of like finding the voices. You like grow into stuff. the roles, yeah, you, you know? Totally. And then you have the fact of uh, when you, you start to go, oh, that makes sense. Right, right, yeah. But I think um, for all of us, watching that episode one after not knowing each other and finally being like, oh, okay, this is what we're doing and we get to do it together. Yeah. And then we all became fast friends. We now, all, now, now we're all in like a message thread together every time like a new episode drops. We're like, how are you going to do this? Line, bro. Like, yeah. I mean, you know, so it's like, it's it's more, you know, it feels closer knit now. Yeah, yeah. If you want like some insider info about the JJK cast, here's when our group chats pop off. Manga leak night. 
okay? That's, that's one night when our group chat pops off. Uh, if we want to do any raids in Pokemon Go, Group group chats popping off. Planning a game of uh, Magic the Gathering. Yeah, when we're when we're doing our weekly Magic the Gathering game, the group chats popping off. Yeah. And uh, then when someone has like a cool life event, like a know. birthday. That's tertiary. Or, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we, yeah. We don't care as much about like birthdays <laughs> and like like you know whatever. But yeah. Thank you. Thank you for You're your welcome. Question. Thank you. All right. Hi. Step on up. What's your name and what's Ooh. your question? Hi. My name is. Hi. My name is Haley. Um. My question was who or what like a TV show or something inspired you to become a voice actor. Oh, that's great. So who or what TV show inspired you to become a voice actor? The Little case. Mermaid. Oh. Yeah, I wanted to be Ariel. She's not real. <laughs> I hate this panel. <laughs> Mermaids are real, and I don't know. Thank I, you, KG. Uh, KG's my friend. That's right. Nice story. Um, so I, I didn't really understand what voiceover was until very, uh, like, much, much later when I actually got to Los Angeles, right? Uh, when, as a little kid, I especially didn't really understand what it was, but I, the thing that made me want to act was I watched an episode of, like, the old school Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, right? And when I was a little kid, I, I couldn't comprehend that there was a human behind that. I was like, I'm gonna be a turtle. <laughs> I'm gonna be a turtle when I grow up, yeah. That looks like a fun job. That's what I sound like as a kid. Um, Got a lot of speech therapy. But, uh, but yeah, and then I found out there was an actual career. It's like people will actually get paid to make these voices. I was like, heck yeah, let's go. Yeah, so teach me Ninja Turtles. Yeah, I don't, I don't ever remember being, like I wasn't the kid who like looked people up or to see who was voicing who, but I loved also Ninja Turtles, um, all the 80s cartoons that I grew up with. But I also loved movies like Home Alone and Three Ninjas. And so I always just wanted to be an actor, like awesome. doing all of those things. Um, being an actor, like having an agent and doing martial arts were the two things that I always wanted to do since I was like, since I can remember. So, and I do both. Yay. Awesome. Thank you, you for your question. Also, loves you're an inspiration. Aw, look at that. All right. Hi, what's your name? What's your question? Hi, my name is Melanie, and I was wondering what the hardest scene uh, to record of season two was. Oh. Sorry. Probably the first five episodes for me because Yuji wasn't in them. <laughs> And I was like, come no, on! No, 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 he was at the, at the end of the last one. That's true, that's oh, true. Human earthworm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He made them all see the human earthworm. Um, Artist scene. I mean, there's a lot of there was a lot of tough stuff for UG in season two. Yeah, um, yeah. Quite a bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There, there, was a, there was a lot of tough stuff. Like, I, I really wanted to um, make it all feel as real as possible. And so uh, they've heard me say this before, but, like, living in that headspace of just, like, feeling those feelings that Yuji was feeling was really tough. Like there was, there was uh, moments of leaving the session and, you know, recording an episode that was like a really emotional episode and then getting in the car and being like, I'm okay, I'm okay. And then just like crying on my way home. Cause like, it's, it's, it's such a weird thing. You know, you are acting, but at the same time you are kind of experiencing what this character is experiencing. So he's like immense feelings of guilt or sadness, or you're, you're kind of imagining what it would be like to lose a friend and, a lot of times as an actor, you um, parallel that with stuff that you've had happen to you in your real life. It's like we've all experienced loss of some kind, so you like relate it that way, and it's like, oh, God. And then, yeah, it kind of ca like catches you off guard. You know, I, like the, it did happen multiple times um, after the Nobara episode, um, after when Tsukuna gives Yuji his body back and he sees Tokyo leveled. Um, that moment was like, my session was only 15 minutes long because that was the only thing I had to do in that episode. And I was, I remember doing it once and we had to do, we had to change one little thing and I did it twice. And the director was like, okay, um, that was really good. And I was like. No. <laughs> okay, bye. And then I just have to go get in my car and you just sulked out of the yeah, studio. Like, like <laughs> nothing has happened. You Adam, know? your paper worked out. Okay. So yeah, so those feelings, and then you're like, okay, I'm fine. And then, they, yeah, they just kind of bubble over and stuff like that. So all of season two, especially the last whatever it was, like six, seven episodes, um, I was just constantly in sort of like a, like when I got home, I was like, I need joy. I need to, I need other things that make me happy. So, yeah. Um, in Nobara's last episode, the that whole sequence from when she's like kind of in her head thinking about stuff and you see the chairs all the way through like the last moment. Um, that was tricky because I wanted to thread this line between 
like what I'm feeling, like we're all gonna be sad about this, like it is definitely a sad moment, but also honoring like what Nobara is doing, which is she's being very reflective and also like she's taking it like a champ, you guys. Like she goes out like a so champ. Cool. She's so cool. She's so cool about it because she's gonna be matter of fact about it because A, that's how she rolls, and then B, I think unconsciously she's doing a similar thing to what Nanami does, which is kind of send off Yuji without like dumping <laughs> dumping all that emotion on him. Cause that's like that's like that's not what he needs in this moment. Um I feel like too Nomara is a little bit more mature than Yuji in the sense that she well slightly. I mean obviously. But like uh but like she knew what she, she like she knew what she was signing up for. Yeah. That's the other thing. Yeah. We, er, she knew what she was signing up for when she signed up for Tokyo. Yeah where, for Jiu -Jitsu. Where, where my boy just ate a finger and yeah. didn't really know. He was Oops. like what? <laughs> Yeah, like if you're gonna be a Jujutsu sorcerer, you know the life expectancy is kind of short. Some shorter for some than others. <laughs> wait, wait. There's still wait. hope. There's still hope, guys. That's right. I mean, she's. They're just saving her for the best. Place. Exactly. Saving her for the best. Is place. it copium? Maybe. <laughs> you, know what's, you know what's super annoying when what? when people make fake leaks. <laughs> you guys, Adam is there just on leak. They get me like every time. <laughs> you gotta stop. You gotta stop. You gotta. They stop get me that. every time, and then I'm like just angry that uh, I let myself be fooled again. Uh, really quickly, so Gojo did have some nice emotional moments in, in season two, especially with Gato. But for me, we had a much bigger technical challenge in, in season two, the first five episodes in the hidden inventory. None of Gojo's localized lines matched his lip flaps. None. None. Okay? So, for example, the, the throughout heaven and earth scene, right? The way it was localized, it was a completely different line, right? Because the Japanese lip flaps, when he says it, are super short, all right? In English, throughout heaven and earth, I alone am the honored one, takes some time to say, where in Japanese, it's very short, right? So we were panicking. We we're like, this is a very famous line. I've been seeing all these people's tattoos with this, oh, we can't mess up these tattoos, you know? Um, so we did surgery. We placed throughout heaven and earth on the previous scene, and then we were able to fit I alone am the honored one in the actual scene, right? So that was challenge number one. And then we got to the subway scene, where it's like, uh, uh, what is it? The, uh, we ended up saying, um, I'm actually surprised you thought you could beat me with this loser shit, right? That original line didn't fit either. So the loser shit stuff had to be tacked on to fix that. And then, and then it was the, um, uh, uh, but my soul knows otherwise, or my, my heart knows otherwise, right? That didn't fit. So that became both my heart and my soul know otherwise, right? We were panicking through these lines. We we're like, oh my God, all these really important lines we can't even fit. We made it work. You know what you could have done? Send me the names of your allies and locations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you could have just done that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Thank you, Thank you for the your question. question. All right. Anyone? Else? Oh, hi. What's Hello. your name? Anyone else? I'm like, anyone a, else? The line, line goes around the room. Hi. Uh, what's your name? What's your love. question? Hi, I'm Leilani. Um, Leilani. 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 There you go. Yes. <laughs> Leilani. You can yes. TM that. I, I'm actually going to patent it right now. <laughs> we'll do it. My question is what would the most played song be on your character's playlist? I'm just Ken. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this is the, such a stupid answer. Why do I feel like Yuji's? Like he hasn't listened to it in a while, but when he did listen to it, he listened to it so much that it's still the number one song on it. Who let the dogs out? <laughs> <laughs> okay, do you want to hear my stupid head cannon? Is that uh, one time Yuji probably played a prank on Obara and like changed her ringtone to um, Hammer Time, <laughs> and then she was really mad at him, but then she left it there. She was like, okay. Yeah, she got used. She, it, it became her favorite. Oh my God. Yeah, if Gojo watches TikTok, it's Daddy's home, obviously. Yeah. yeah. You know what? Usher sucks. <laughs> I'm he didn't, he didn't perform I'm so at the mad. Super Bowl. You know what? It became so obvious. Like, all a bro had to do at the Super Bowl, my voice is back. That's how passionate I am. Okay? All a bro had to do at the Super Bowl was, like, come out on stage and he had to do this. He had to do this. And do you know how many new fans he would have? How many new music downloads? It was so obvious that after he did absolutely nothing in the Super Bowl to honor JJK like it should be honored, that that was all his PR team 
when some like young person who works for him, who had an idea to do the daddy's home thing, he, he doesn't know what he, Usher sucks. So upset about it, man. I'm mad. I was really upset about it. It was a missed it. opportunity. This PR guy did drop Thank the ball. You. Thank, Thank you so you, much. Thank you, Hi, what's your name and what's your question? Hi, sorry, no mojito questions allowed. <laughs> I was getting like secondhand guilt standing behind. It's good. You know what? That's good. Yeah, you you, deser you, you deserve certainly it. gave Nanami secondhand guilt. You should, you guilt. should yeah, that's feel it. guilty. You deserve it. I did. Okay. Pretty basic question, but outside of the characters of your voice act, who's your favorite character and why? Oh, this is easy for me. Toto. Toto. Toto's my absolute goat. Toto is my. We're so good as Toto. All right. Yeah. No, that's what you mean, right? Wait, sorry. Is that what you meant? Like, who are other favorite character in the show? I thought show? you said other characters we voice. Sorry. I, I... On the show. Yeah, KG can only think of characters he voices. <laughs> <laughs> not me. It's not me. It's straight up not me. But also Maki. It was. It was. Thanks. It was not me. Whoever gasped, Stop that it. was for you. Stop it. Whoever what do you mean? He's was. in Malaysia. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's just frolicking on a beach. Really Shirtless. Books. Hey, what's your name and what's your question? My name's River, and my question is, what Pokemon would you give your character? Mega Re Gengar. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah. Roselia. Togepi. <laughs> I didn't hear yours. Roselia. All right. Thank you, River. All right, hi. What's your name? What's your question? Um, I'm Naomi, and I was just wondering, um, what were your reactions to the season two script? I think we had probably every rea reaction you can think of in, yeah. in an emotional array, array of emotions. Because <laughs> here's the thing. For us, when we go, when we go into our, our sessions, we are coming at it from a standpoint of like, okay, we got to be kind of like uh, emotionally ready for whatever we're bringing to the table that day. But you also can't be locked into anything because you got to be moldable and kind of flexible. Um, but then also we are approaching it like KG was explaining from a technical standpoint where we're all – listen – the, the, the dub of JJK is in really good hands. The, the, everyone is such, so well studied. We're caught up on the manga. We're watching the sub episodes. Like we're doing our best to make this dub as good as possible for you guys. Um, so we are also approaching it from like a technical standpoint and making sure that lines that are supposed to be a certain way are coming out that way. Um, yeah, so we're kind of having to be ready for anything that's thrown at us in, the, in those and moments? We can't be overwhelmed by it too much because the first time we're seeing that script is actually when we get to the studio. Uh, we, we almost never, if not never, for at least this show, right? We don't get it in advance. So the first time we're seeing these lines is right there when we're about to perform them. Yeah, you, you, for, for voice actors, especially in anime, you have to be kind of like a master cold reader. I've never met mm -hmm. a single dub actor who was not a master cold reader. Yeah. Yeah, which basically, a cold read, basically, if you don't know what that means, means the very first time you read it, it sounds like you're acting good. You sound like everything, like You've the intention. You've made all the acting correct. choices, yeah. yeah. The, like, as you're reading it, you're doing it. It's really cool to watch people do it. Thank you. Thank you so much for your question. All right, hi, what's your name and what are your, what's your question? Uh, my name's Kayla. My question is, what quote did you guys enjoy recording the most from the show? I'll accept it, Mahito. I am you. Yeah, I thought that was cool. That's a good one. I, I don't know. I'm still a fan of like when, when uh, Megumi and Gojo were sitting outside when you guys were exercising the curse in the building and Nobara exercises hers with her cool like hammer and nail thing and Gojo looks up he's like, oh, good, she's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love that validation. Uh, I think I still, my favorite is still the speech she gives to Momo, the I love myself when I'm pretty and all dressed up and I love myself when I'm kicking ass. Such a good mantra. <laughs> Also, I like a tall woman with a nice big ass. I like that one too. Yeah, yeah. I do too. Wow, good, that's, all, yeah, that's also a good one. Who doesn't? I yeah, hope Jennifer Lawrence a... likes it too. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. All right, hi, step on up. What's your name and what is your question? Oh, your cosplay is so cool. I yeah, look so, so cool. good. You look awesome. My name's Kago, and my question is, what's your question? My name's Kago, and my question is, what's the most embarrassing moment you've had? Uh, what's the most embarrassing moment that you've had? Period, or while we're recording or on the job? Just, just in general. In your whole life. In my whole life? Yeah. Wow. Uh, I wasn't ready for that one. Yeah. <laughs> There's so many you could choose. I know. I have a plethora. <sighs> uh, oh, mm. You know what? I have no shame. Because yeah? I literally can't think, of, I can't think of anything. Oh, no. I just like, can't pick. 
Uh, I can't. When did I feel embarrassed? Okay, I have one from when I was working um, that I can share. Uh, so I was recording on a game called Dynasty Warrior 7, right? And when uh, we were in there for four hours, and it was like hour three, and um, I was gesturing in the booth, right? And my uh, water bottle was open right there. And I went like this, okay? Water all over my pants. It was it sucked, right? And and we had an hour left. And uh, fortunately for me, you know, uh, when we were recording the window to the outside, it came up to here, so you can't really see like my pants getting wet. And uh, so I, I turned to the director. I was like, "Hey, dude, this is like really cold and uncomfortable. We had a whole hour left. Do you mind if I just like you can't see? Can I just like can I just like right?" And he turns to me uh, and he's like. Whatever makes the art flow, dude. Oh my god. Um, so yeah, if you if you listen to Dynasty Warriors, there's a portion of it where I'm just not wearing pants. Yeah. Uh, I was in a, a a live action dubbing session where uh, after I did my take, they like like shush it into place, right? And uh, there's a little break, and I was like, oh, I'll take a sip of water. So I open up my water bottle, I take a nice big swig, and it goes down the wrong pipe, and then I immediately start choking because I'm drowning myself. And then all of a sudden, the water's just dribbling out of my mouth and like onto my shirt and then onto everything. And I'm like faced away from, I'm facing away from the window, and everyone's hearing me coughing, and I hear the engineer go, Ann, are you, are you okay? And I look down, and I was like, I need, I need, I need paper towels. He goes to the bathroom, he grabs paper towels, he opens the door, he looks at me, he's like, here you go. I was like, it's fine, I, I, I'll remember how, how, how to drink water soon. <laughs> it, was, it was bad. It was, it was a really big gulp of water, you guys. Apparently actors just can't be trusted with water bottles. We can't. <laughs> it's hard. I have analysis paralysis. I can't think of anything. I don't know when I was embarrassed. I hope it's later today. <laughs> Adam has never had an embarrassing yeah. thing happen to him in his entire life. I, here's the actually. thing. <laughs> I actually, okay, so here's the, something to know about me. I thrive in awkward situations. And like, like one of my favorite pastimes is asking for a discount on things at places, at, at places where there's not normally a discount given. And I don't know if you know this, but you can ask for a discount at Best Buy. Okay. Yeah. Mo yes. At Best Buy, where the prices are like on the tag. You can haggle. You can, at Best Buy. You can haggle at Best Buy. What context? Uh, so when I moved into my house, I was buying. I had to buy like a TV, a refrigerator, and a washer and a dryer. And I was like, I'm gonna get a discount on this stuff. But here's how I get a discount. Okay. I make it as awkward as possible. <laughs> so if I go, I go. Uh, is there any way I can get like? 15, 20% uh, discount on this? If they're like, no, I'll go. <laughs> and I will literally just wait them out. <laughs> I will be silent and stand there for so long that they will feel so uncomfortable that they're like, I can do 10%. <laughs> and then in my head, I'm like, yes. So like, I don't know, I like strive for these. So I can't, I cannot think, I mean, I'm sure obviously I've been embarrassed many times in my life, but like, I can't think of one because those, those awkward situations, I live for them. He's generally the cause of them. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for the question. Thank you for the question. Thank you. All right, we have less than 10 minutes remaining, so we'll we'll get try to go fast. Maybe we'll the next try to go five faster. or six Wait, questions. Wait, sorry. Is this, are you, is this mostly people standing, like standing room only? This is not the line, right? Like all I don't know. Is there? everyone here waiting to ask a question? No? Oh, sure. Where does the question line end? Okay, 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 okay. Well, okay. that's manageable. Okay, yeah, okay. we could do that. We could do that. All right, no lightning worries. round. <laughs> Um, hi, my name is Charlotte, and I was wondering if all of you could, like, create a domain, what would it be called, and, like, what would it do? Domain expansion. Boba shop. <laughs> For sure. Everyone sure. gets free drinks when Yuji's in town. Uh, mine would be domain expansion, infinite memes, and, of course, it would have to be, like, it'd have to be, like, uh, something, you know, you go into my domain, and I'm like, hey, check your phone. <laughs> and then you're like, what is this cat doing a thumbs up? He looks sad, and then you're defeated. I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm workshopping it. I'm workshopping it. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> domain expansion, daddy's home. Ooh, daddy's home. <laughs> it's just Usher. He's just in, yeah. he's in the domain. Yeah, and we all hate him now. <laughs> that would be a good he's one. He's not performing the song at all. No, no, no. Uh, I think mine would be like I I infinite domain, um, uh, sparkle time, and it would be like you. Every picture that you take of yourself, every selfie is the perfect angle and like the softest lighting, and you look so good. 
Ooh, hello. Oh, okay. That's, okay. Good. that's okay. useful. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, it's next useful. question. Hi. Let's go. Hello. My name is Zoe. Hello, Zoe. Hi. Um, Jojo. Yes, ma'am. Can you do your most famous line? The human earthworm one? Yeah, sure. Hold on so I can do that. Yes. <laughs> yes. I have been waiting for this. Don't worry. Uh, he knows. All right, all right, all right. So, you crying? <laughs> <laughs> There's another one? Oh my god. Wait, wait, wait. What's the other one? What's the other one? What's the other one? When the volcano man was. Oh, oh, the, um, uh, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. The, the, uh, Yoaimo? Is that what it is? Yeah, you're kind of weak. Yeah, that's it. Thank you, thank you. All right. Wow, wow. Hi. Hello, my name's Corvin, and my question is when you go back to watch the show, what's your favorite episode? What's your favorite episode when you go back to watch the show? One of my favorite episodes is the baseball episode. Yeah. It's just so funny. Yeah. It's like, it's canon filler. I love it. It's, it and it's, it's, it, it's even, we, we can appreciate it even more now because we never got filler again. <laughs> <sighs> it's, also really, it's also really funny watching Toto just get hit in the face with a oh pitch. It's really God, funny. Yeah. I love that. That's An intentional right. pitch. Yeah. Nice pitch, pretty funny. Bro. It's pretty Everyone funny. Everyone really hates you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right. Hi. What's your name and your question? Hi. My name's Rachel, a.k.a. Sugar Ghetto. And is it true that me and Gojo broke up at KFC? It nope. is. Get it a is, reality yeah, sorry. check. We sorry, bro. We can't eat fried chicken. You've been I possessed. certainly can. Yeah. You've been it's possessed. very hard to get a two-piece now. Yeah. All right. Thank, thank you. you. Except from Yuji. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Hi. How are you guys? Good. How are you? What are they? Oh. Babies. Oh, thank you for the babies. Oh, baby. I appreciate it. Oh, no. Oh. Um, bye bye. For all of you guys. I hate kids. Um, <laughs> you're welcome. Just kidding. Um, Oh, I'm so nervous. I'm sorry. Okay. Thank you. Don't be nervous. Thank you. We're receiving your babies. What was... Thank you. Can I have That's, a baby? Sounds so wrong. Oh, my... Why do you have Whoa. a baby? Oh, wow, wow, wow. incredible wow. bag of babies. Uh, okay, if you it, are the father. This, this baby... This baby's twerking. The son and the holy sleigh. <laughs> hey. So if there is a line uh, that you could choose where you read it and you fully felt that you embodied your character, what line would it be? The line that says it all, like the line is like, oh, I am Gojo in this moment. All the other characters you voiced are completely out of the picture. What is your what is your Gojo line? Um, I, I really I really did enjoy uh, throughout Heaven and Earth. That's a really good line. But also the you crying was really, really good, you know. <laughs> And, and, and the you crying one actually almost didn't happen. Um, when, remember when I talked about bad localization? Um, we lo someone localizes, are you crying? Right? And they did it because the flaps didn't fit. So I was like, okay, look, look, we're just going to cheat it. Let's just stretch it out just a little bit. You crying? Right? And it turned out okay. <laughs> so you maybe have that one. tears you falling have to, are from you your weeping face? Right now? Are your eyes leaking? <laughs> yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Is it face raining? <laughs> it's face raining. All right, hi. Hi, hi, Hello. I'm Yuri. Um, I just wanted to see if I can pretty please get uh, I'm here to save you. <laughs> oh, sure, sure. Um, uh, the whole thing you want me to say? Wait, wait, what's your name? I know your cosplay is the character. What's your name? Uh, my, my name? Yeah. Uh, it's Yuri. Yuri? Yeah. Yuri, I'm here to save you. <gasps> you crying? <laughs> All right. All right, hi. What's your name and your question? Hi, my name is Leilani. Hi, Leilani. Um, Hi. Hello. I was wondering if you guys ever got to meet the um, the author, the artist. Oh, gay, gay, gay? No. Wish. No. Because then I could ask him, bro, is she coming back? Yeah. We'd have so oh. many things to say to him at this point, I think. It's a mystery. <laughs> gay, gay is a mystery to yeah. us as well. We would love yeah. to meet him one day. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Do you know Thank him? You. Can yeah, you yeah do you have his number? Can you introduce us? Yeah, yeah. are you gay, gay? <laughs> are you gay? Oh, my God. <laughs> is that gay, gay? All right. All right, we got a few more questions here. What up, Kenny? American. Hello. You are Kenuff. <laughs> Hi, my name is Brianna, and my question is, what quality of your character do you admire most? Admire? Mm. Jojo's rich. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yuji's such a good boy. Yeah, he's such a good boy. Um, I really, uh, there's, this is like, you know, we try to avoid manga spoilers, and I don't think this is really a spoiler. Um, but something is said, I don't even actually know if it was in the actual translation of this line or if it was just how they translated one of the leak lines. But uh, there's a line that says, Yuji has an unbreakable soul. And I really like that about him. If you think about the entirety of Shibuya, it was like four hours. 
So all of that happened in four hours to this kid and he still managed to like pull himself together and be present, you know, enough to fight. So he's just like, so per, well, he perseveres no matter how hard things get. And I think that's a really admirable quality. Yeah. Yeah. I love that Nobara is the kind of girl who doesn't care about like society's expectations of her. She knows exactly who she is and what she wants and she's, gonna just, she's just gonna go get it. And she'll bring her friends along. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no excuses. She just right. kicks butt. It's her That's destiny. Right. Um, and uh, uh, Gojo, I, I love how much he cares about his students, right? Like, sure, Gojo has an ego, but not so much to the point where he's not putting these kids ahead of him. He is, you know, his entire thing is like, hey, I'm right now I'm the strongest, but one day you kids, you're going to be stronger than me, and that's optimal, right? Like, he, that's what he's striving for, and I think that's, uh, I respect that very much. I thought you had a wad of gum in your hand, but it's a baby. It's a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right, Thank you. and unfortunately, that was our last question. If you didn't get a chance to ask, oh, I know, but we're running Dory. out of time. All right, last question. This is right, going to be the last, last one, one. Last one. Last one. Last one. My name is Ash, and I don't know if you guys are caught up on the manga, but are you? Wait, no manga spoilers. Just make sure if you ask a question, no manga spoiler. Don't ask a spoiler. Are you excited or nervous about a hypothetical season three? Oh, oh. season three is going to be crazy. Oh, yeah. Season three. Th season three has the potential to top Shibuya. It changes pulling, the format. Pulling yeah. games is going to be insane. Yeah, I, I, I can't even, I can't even imagine what that's going to look like. I'm so yeah, okay, for wait. You all to see it. Thank you so much, Ash. Next question. We, can, <laughs> we, gotta, we gotta finish him. Can we finish come on, him? Come on. How many, how many of you are there? There's, There's like, like five. five. There's five? like okay, five. Okay, fast, fast, fast. Hi. My name is Moss. Uh, if you could meet your character, what would be the one question you could ask them? You can ask Can I borrow ten thousand dollars? <laughs> yeah. Want to spar? That's what I would say. Let's go shopping. Right. Thank you so Thank much. You. Next question. Hi, my name is Malachi, and um, my cousin back there is a huge fan of you, Kaiji Tang, and I just wanted oh, to you. see if you could say, are you saving me to my cousin Hunter back there? All right. Hunter, what's up? Are you saving me? I hope so. Aww. Right. Thanks, Hunter. Thank you. Come up yourself next time. Okay, three left. Hi, honey. Hi, my name is Camilla, and I was just wondering if you had one role you could switch your character with, who would it be? None of me. Someone oh, like if we could play someone else? Toto. I could never <laughs> sound like that, <laughs> but it would be Toto. Um, uh, uh, Maki, because she's just, just as badass. Thank you so much. Thank Next you. question. What up, Asuka? Hi, my name is Tessa, and can Hi. you recreate the, I ate that thing, and then the <laughs> next. <laughs> Sorry, but I ate that thing. Really? <laughs> uh, next. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, final question. Hi, my name is Daniel. Uh, what scene from the manga are you most excited to act? That's a spoiler, Daniel. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> season three, Daniel. Season That's three. all what we're excited for. Yeah, very, yeah. very excited for season three. Oh, yes. Okay. There, is, there is technically one more person. We can do it. We can, can do, do it. it. We can do it. Daniel, Daniel. 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 Hikaruma fight. Okay. Okay, so my name is Logan. Um, if there is, like, okay, I'm sorry. Um, You're fine. I didn't really think this through. Um, Logan, no pressure. But the last question <laughs> is supposed to be the best one. <laughs> I'm just kidding. If there was one line in the show that you say is, or one scene that you say is your favorite, what would it be? Uh, the season two stuff with Nanami at the very end. The Malaysia stuff. Uh, it happened on Thanksgiving. Uh, why would I be thankful for that day? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was messed up. Oh, I'm thankful for the... <laughs> what? What? The Nanami fight with... <laughs> with oh! The, <laughs> the hair pull? The <laughs> hair pull! Anathan! Yes! Yes! It's a woman Anathan! Of, it's a woman of culture! Sorry. Anathan! Sorry, by the way, when Anne's being a bad girl, I call her Anathan. <laughs> Anathan, that is it. bad. No, I can't top that. Thank you so much for your question. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Yeah, and thank you everyone for all Appreciate your questions. You One more time, Adam MacArthur, KG Tang, and Yakko. Yeah,